loosen the four thumb nuts and remove the frame. Place a piece of filter paper rough side up on the filter holder. Next, install the TE5035 adapter plate. Tighten the four thumb nuts down. Make sure the washers are on top of the adapter plate. Attach and tighten the high volume calibrator onto the adapter plate. Turn the calibrator on by pressing the center button. Open the mass flow controller door and the recorder door. Turn the system on by flipping the switch on the timer. Let the motor warm up for a few minutes before the calibration procedure. After the motor has warmed up, turn the flow on the mass flow controller up by turning the screwdriver clockwise. It is best to have two readings above the normal operating flow rate and two readings below the normal operating flow rate. Record the recorder chart reading and record the Q ambient reading from the calibrator. Repeat the steps to get five different readings. Turn the flow controller down for each reading. Turn the screwdriver counterclockwise to slow down the motor for each point. Record the temperature and pressure from the calibrator. Turn the system off and close up the shelter. Turn off the X calibrator. Go to www.tish-env.com, hover over calibration, and click on calibration worksheets. Select X calibrator MFC systems calibration worksheet. Enter in the site information 
and then enter in the site conditions from the TE-HVC calibrator. Then you will need to enter in the TE-HVC digital calibrator information. Next, you will need to enter the calibration information from the calibration procedure. First, enter the chart readings. In our example, they are 52, 46, 43, 38, and 31. Then you will need to enter the Q ambient readings from the calibrator. Ours were 49.9, 43.6, 40.5, 34.5, 37.5, and 28.8. Our slope is 1.0185 and the intercept is negative 3.2972. Our correlation coefficient is 0 0.9981, which is a good calibration. Anything under 0 0.990 is a bad calibration. After a completed sample, the user will need to enter the average chart reading and the sample time in hours to calculate the total flow in cubic feet a minute and total flow in cubic meters a minute. In our example, this chart shows a 24-hour sample. The average chart reading is right at 44 CFM for the entire sample. The range for TSP is 39 to 60 cubic feet a minute or 1.1 to 1.7 cubic meters a minute. Loosen the four thumb nuts and remove the adapter plate. Place a clean piece of filter paper rough side up onto the filter holder. Replace the frame and tighten down the four thumb nuts, making sure the washers are on top of the frame. 